So this young fighter making the walk here tonight, and he's a very entertaining fighter. He's very adept at staying in the pocket while avoiding significant damage coming back. Certainly, he's made a career of frustrating opponents, stays relaxed in there, leans on the defense, and uses that defensive movement to set up his own offense. You'll see him move that head off the center line, counter beautifully, really more of a counter striker offensively. But his defense will wow you, even when the opposition feels like they have him in range, more often than not, they miss and land less than 25% of their significant strike attempts. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. fans have come out to see And now our kill the tape for this heavyweight fight. Here once more is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Bruce the Dragon Lee. The veteran Herbert Dean, our referee ready. for this one. Ready. Good. All right, here is Bruce Lee getting ready for another UFC start as we begin round one. So fast, so quick, so good at setting up striking angles, and it's hard to simulate the speed in training. I know the opponent has talked a lot about trying to find training partners to simulate Bruce Lee. Easier said than done. Bruce Lee trying to get off to a good start tonight. Oh, high kick. Great punch landing with so much power. Nice job blocking that punch. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Beautiful combination there. If you are teaching an up-and-coming fighter about throwing volume strikes effectively, you can do worse than watching the film on this I mean, guy. It's tonight. a master class, John. It's a master class in mixing up the targets, mixing up the strikes, and ending your combination with the kick. So more output, at least in the early going. Way to hide that leg kick. Please kick to the body here. That one appeared to be blocked. Ooh, pretty good uppercut. Just misses with the right. Fourth we go. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Oh, nice jab by him there. And I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. Relax, relax. And doing work with the jab. That left punch pretty good. There, DC, I'm not sure how he stayed up there. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talk in your toughness. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook a little bit. 
kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that pick. Oh! What a spike. Both of these guys are trying to finish. The reach advantage has proven so beneficial. Another punch lands. Oh, overhand lands. That'll leave a mark. Those are big strikes. Under two minutes in the first round. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he is trying to take down that finish. Oh, my goodness. Unable to connect it. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment. John, it may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually, it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Lee. Oh, nice. Nice hook. Oh, and he found the target again. He's bleeding from the mouth, Daniel. Looks as though there's a cut on his lip. Thankfully, he's a lot tougher than I am. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to... He turned his entire body into that uppercut, and it landed exactly as he was hoping for. Oh, that's big. Well, no denying the durability on the other side, but... At this point, you just got to find that kill shot and get him out of there. A lot of times that comes with reps, that comes with taking your time. You get excited, and you want to finish because you think it's right there, but at times you just overswing and you miss a lot. You slow down if he wants to get his opponent out of this fight. Oh, oh he hurt him again. He's hurt back. Final second to round one. Great body kick there. Second round, straight ahead. All right, that's the end of the round. You see the fighter's got a cut on his lip, not necessarily a Robbie Lawler lip opening, if you know what I'm talking about, but certainly something that could be a source of adversity here moving forward. Cut man in there quickly to try to shore it up. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper, and it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. You ready? You ready? Round two on the way. It's a nice deception there as he lands the hook. A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. Well, if you are a young striker, you could do a lot worse than watching this guy work on the feet, perhaps trying to set up another hook here. Yes, he is. He's definitely trying to set up another hook. You could tell by his eyes. He's taking peeks. He's sneaking looks at where he needs his opponent to be in order to land that shot. All right, same bat time, same bat channel. You think he's going to look to set up that hook again here? I mean, what? you can see it, John. You can see him doing it. You can see him sneaking looks to see where that hand is going to be. He's sneaking looks because he's going to find the opportune time to drop that big hook over the top. Oh, really doing a nice job timing his shot, staying busy in this round. Bleeding now, nasty cut on his nose. Oh, well, confident. A huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. Oh, that right hand barely missed there. Yeah. Oh, and he tagged. 
tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there by Lee. Well, earlier in the round, he clearly got stunned by his opponent, but he just has not responded. Oh, he smells blood in the water. Got to start looking for the finish here. Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. He continues to land a high volume of strikes on his opponent at will. Well, I mean, John, the guy can fight everywhere, and he can fight everywhere, meaning he can fight on the ground. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over, and it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Just misses with that one. Just over two minutes to go. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Man, his body not looking too good right now. It's not quite Dominic Reyes against Jan Bohovic, but these body strikes are really starting to add up. They're starting to pay dividends. You know, he spoke to us about this earlier in the week, how he was going to eat this guy up from bottom to top. He was going to go in reverse. That is exactly what he has done. Oh, straight punch. It's there again. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV, but every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you got to try to find a way to stop them. He needs to try to get a takedown or something because the more he's standing, the more he's going to have to deal with this cut. And now, all the blood that's coming from the cut. Oh, nice. Lee's oh, oh, he's in trouble. Put your hands up high. Oh! That leg kick hurt. 45 seconds remain in the round. Lee's now switching his stance. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. 30 seconds to go in the round. 30 to go. Come on. Let's work. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following a game plan, and it's working. All right. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. Ready to fight? Ready. Third yes. round underway. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Oh, picture perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is gonna be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Oh, nice body shot.
is swelling in and around that left eye. It's starting to close up now. Straight punch there again. Been there all night. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Oh, that cut on his nose is only getting worse. Not good. Takedown defense is there. Missed with that attempt. Oh, almost like you saw the skin swell right away after he landed that strike. So that trainer's gonna have to bring in the end swell to try to deal with the swelling because this guy is getting pieced up. Just over three minutes to go. That's a big strike right there. He's gonna get himself knocked out. He gotta take a moment. He's gonna get knocked out if he doesn't take a break. Back to the left hand now. Unable to connect. Oh, oh he's got him hurt here. Oh. He's hurt bad. Big left hand lands upstairs. So holding on to him here, not doing a ton, perhaps just looking to recover. Oh, great block there. There it is. He's cut. Get the elbow. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other. Yeah, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. Done trying to recover here. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here, really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Going with the kick to the body. He's an outstanding kicker, but that attempt missed. He's hurt bad here. Missed a shot land. It's over, John. Nice done. Right into side control. Oh, he's got him in a crucifix now, DC. We've seen you go to this a couple times, no? This is one of my favorite techniques. I got Vulcan Ozdemir here. And I just landed punch after punch after punch. They didn't have to be hard. But if you can land 30, 40 strikes in a row, the referee will have no choice but to finish the fight. Oh, man, that cut looks terrible. He's bleeding like crazy. I wouldn't be surprised if they stopped the fight with that cut at some point. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home oh on the God. ground. Oh, staying busy from top position. He lands another ground strike there. Lee gets back up. I mean, you gotta be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on Sports Center tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. Set it inside the octagon once more. Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 44 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon.